Did you always dream of starting your own business, but you just didn't know where and how to begin? I've been in that situation and I didn't know where to begin when starting my business. So let me tell you some of the tips that I have learned along the way so that it will help you start your. I'm Munif Ali and I'm a self-made multimillionaire with multiple brick and mortar companies that have closed billions in sales. I'm here to empower you so that you can obtain your financial and personal development goals. The purpose is for me to teach you as much as I can so you can be successful through real life experiences that I have had. If you like the kind of content and this resonates with you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me ask you, what are you passionate about? You need to have a little bit of self-reflection here and check yourself. What makes you tick? Are you happy when you entertain? people or serve your family dinner maybe you want to start a restaurant do you enjoy knitting or creating your own clothes maybe you want to start a clothing business start with yourself what's that thing you like to do that brings you joy because it's going to be the fuel that starts your business for me I had loved real estate ever since I was a kid I was able to see what real estate was able to do for my own family coming from the projects it not only gave us the wherewithal to get out of our situation but also build and create wealth so I really always had a passion for real estate. You wanna research the market. Once you figure out what business you'd like to start based on your passions and likes, now you need to research the market. Who are your possible customers or targets? And how much money do you need to start the business? And what is, you know, other successful businesses look like? What current businesses in your neighborhood or area are thriving? Get a few minutes, talk to the business owner, find out. If they're afraid of competition, you know, you opening up another restaurant next to them, go out to another area, see what, what restaurants are doing great and then do the research on them. The more time you spend on your research phase, looking and studying at what businesses are using to be successful, the better it is. Now, you can't just study from far away and keep watching content and doing research and talking to business owners without pushing that execute button. But in theory, you wanna to get to a level where you feel comfortable enough that you've done enough due diligence or research. Once you've done your research, now you can start looking for open-minded people that will share this, that have the same dreams as you, basically building a dream team. It's best if you have people with you who will help you reach your goals. Remember, Steve Jobs wouldn't be anywhere without Steve Wozniak. So it's not just about partners, it's also picking the right people to be on your team as your business starts to unfold. I knew for myself in some of my businesses, I wouldn't be as successful because there are things that I absolutely don't like doing, but I got other people who I you know, fully respect that have the skill set to do the things that I don't have the skill set to do. Once you have that team, then start to build a following. Today, the internet and social media has made it very, very easy to reach out to people with your goals and your views. You can use YouTube videos, TikTok, and social media platforms, or you can even use them to crowdfund on Kickstarter. Get that business idea, you've done the research, you got the dream team, now it's time to start to capitalize it. But before I tell you the last one, if you like the kind of content that I'm giving you, apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that subscribe button and let the algorithm at YouTube know that this content is worthy so I can continue to make content like this every single week. Also, make sure that you turn on your bell notification so every time we come out with a new video, you get pinged in China. Now it's time to make sure you deliver. If not exceed their expectations, make sure everything is in check because the performance of your launch date is an important indication if the business will succeed or not. So don't launch before you're ready. Make sure if you have a following on social media, make sure you give people what they want. So if you're opening up that restaurant, make sure it opens up on the day that you're posting. Make sure you have your dream team and financing and all the things to make sure that it's going to be as successful as possible. To summarize what I just discussed with you, start with yourself first. Ask questions like, what are you passionate about? What do you like doing? Do your research for your product or your audience or your venue and then check the businesses that have already tried and tasted success or tasted failure. Gather like-minded people that share the same dream as you and these things are all important foundations of building a rock solid business. Build your following then make sure you're able to deliver on your promises because people are watching. Now since you know that a following is really important to business, I'm gonna shamelessly ask you to hit that subscribe button and then make sure that you hit that notification bell as well. You want to find out more ways to create income so that you can get money to start your business, go ahead and hit this video next.